All right, we've had some fun with these whiteboard. I think I am looking forward to drawing this play more than any we had over the last four weeks. And what I want to do is break this down into three parts because you've got to understand exactly how Steve Sarkeesian and Jake Locker plan to attack USC and then what Monty Kiffin did on really the play of the game. I know the field goal and the zone read, and there were lots of plays within that game, but this is fourth and 11 in your own territory late in the game against USC. And two concepts I want to draw because the play that was called had multiple options. And the, and the first concept is, uh, is either what's called a skinny post or a glance route. They're the same thing. If you hear football terminology say, oh, he's throwing the skinny post in many different systems, it's also called a glance route. And all that is is for a receiver, in this case it was curse, is he's going to run almost like a deep slant and it's a real rhythm timing throw. And in the play that they called, and they ran this a number of times in the game, you'll remember the drop in the red zone on the wheel route. Uh, they actually call that not just a wheel, the other term is a rail route. And the back came out twice, and they missed it both times. They missed a touchdown to Polk, and then there was a blitz on, uh, on a second down that USC ran where you saw Polk come out of the backfield. So that was one concept on one side of the field, and that's the, the glance or the skinny post and you run a wheel or a, whale, or a rail route, that's always a good combination. And the other concept on that play is a West Coast principle. Steve Sarkeesian also brings that concept within this play, and that's what they call flanker drive. And in this case, they did it from the trips formation, and all flanker drive is, from multiple different sets, is this, followed by the tight end doing this, and then the back on a check down, or in this case, they were in trips with no check down. But that is what's called a flanker drive concept. A progression read for a quarterback, you read shallow cross, number one, you come to this number two, and then oftentimes, as I said, there's a check down, maybe a hook route, something for number three. So we put those two together to get to our fourth and 11 call against USC, and as you will find out as we draw this out, it is absolutely remarkable that Jake Locker and Washington converted that 4th and 11 play versus what USC did. So to begin with, they get into a shotgun formation. You obviously got the 5 down. You had Marley and Barnett, your redshirt freshman tight end, number 18. You had Jake in the gun. You had Polk at fullback or halfback. You had Devin Aguilar in the slot. You had DeAndre Goodwin outside, so you have a trip set. You have Curse here. USC, as they did a number of times in the game, gets into their three down front with their best pass rushers, that being Nick Perry, Jarrell Casey, and Armand Armstead. They decide to just run a three-man front, and they've got Nickel on the field. They've got Sharice Wright, who was a problem all night. They've got McDonald. They've got their two linebackers. They've got their middle linebacker. Actually, they just went Nickel. And they bring their nickel back in, Brian Bauckham, their true freshman corner, and then their strong safety. So they line up in a three down front. They're going to drop eight guys into coverage and play that cover two, that Tampa two look that Monty Kiffin loves. So what happens with the University of Washington, Polk actually comes over here because these two guys show blitz, and he runs his rail route. Jermaine Curse runs his skinny post. Against cover two, not a great concept. You have Aguilar on our flanker drive. You have Barnett with that drive running this. And on the backside, Goodwin has a skinny post. Remember now, fourth and 11. What does Jake have as this play unfolds? What you're gonna see is right Picks up, Polk. So this play, dead. Jermaine Curse runs right into the safety, skinny post. You have two that really account for those two. You have Aguilar, who's running his flanker drive. Linebacker accounts for him. So in essence, you have now one, two, three, four, five guys. Five guys, defensively, for Monty Kiffin against these two left. And what happened on the route, Barnett runs his route, this linebacker drops in his hook zone, okay, Kennard turns to kind of run to play that middle of the field, 
Bauckham settles. This, this true freshman corner, Nikel Roby, has nobody. He has nobody. When Polk moves over, he has no other play. He's seeing everything happen in front of him. So in essence, even though he's a flat defender, he locks on. So this, <laughs> this shot was taken away. Linebacker takes away this. So now we have one, two, three, four. You have four defenders. Four defenders for one skinny post drop. Tell me how you complete that. If Monty Kiffin looks at this Sunday morning as he did, he's pulling his hair out. How do these four not stop this skinny post? And DeAndre Goodwin, give the redshirt senior credit because he didn't just run to darkness. He didn't just run in here. He saw what was happening and he flattens it out as Jake steps up and they complete a miracle, a miracle in front of four guys. One, two, three, four to make the play of the game.